Well, guys, I spoke to Paul Howell's daughter today, Rachel. She tells me her family has met with Governor Kevin Stitt, explaining why they think the sentence should stay in place. All of this as the Justice for Julius campaign has millions of supporters asking for his life to be saved. Family man, you know, fun, um, silly, goofy, your typical just fun dad. Um, you know, he has two daughters. Rachel Howell telling me about her dad, Paul. He'd always go to all my soccer games and basketball games. Paul Howell was murdered in 1999 in his car outside his parents' Edmond home. Rachel says she watched the whole thing as a little girl. The door was already cracked open. I watched him walk up. He had a red bandana over his face, a white shirt, and with a silver gun like up against his leg here as he was walking up, and then opened the door and shot my dad in the head. That's the main image that I remember is my dad's head falling. Rachel says, and the courts agreed, Julius Jones was the killer. I remember running up the driveway um, with my aunt and my sister, and uh, he shot again at us and luckily missed, but he said stop and shot at us. Found the defendant Julius Darius Jones guilty of murder in the first degree. Fix his punishment at death. Julius Jones was sentenced to death for Paul Howell's murder. He 100% did this. He murdered my father. The truth is, I didn't, I didn't shoot that man. No, I didn't kill Mr. Paul Howell. Jones has always maintained his innocence, saying he wasn't even there when it happened. I was not involved in the planning of this robbery. I was not present during this robbery. And I did not know that anyone had been killed until the day after Mr. Howe was murdered. After documentaries and a Justice for Julius campaign. It's like David versus Goliath. Countless big names, celebrities, athletes have worked to save his life. Julius Howe! Julius Howe! What I would like to ask for them is if you're ever going to advocate for something like this, a capital murder case, Look at both sides. Six and a half million people from all across the world signing a petition asking for his life to be spared. We're hoping that the governor will, you know, uh, have the courage to do what's right here. And what's right is not executing people and saying, you know, there's too much doubt in the Julius Jones case. The process is uh, meet with the defense attorneys, meet with the prosecutors, uh, meet with the Howe family, and, uh, and then we'll be making our decision. And now Rachel tells me her family has met with the governor. In a text, she said the meeting, quote, went well. We felt heard, and the governor is taking this matter seriously. I encourage you to say yes to God and not man. At this time, Julius Jones's family has not met with the governor. So instead, his sister posted this video message today. I trust God, and I know he chose you, Governor Kevin Stitt, for a reason. I know he chose you for this moment, for to be the champion for the people, and in turn, for Julius. I will help you. Now, as of right now, Julius Jones is set to be put to death this coming Thursday. The Pardon and Parole Board recommended clemency. Governor Kevin Stitt could keep him on death row, could grant him prison with or without parole, or the courts could intervene, guys. But this is something we're going to be following very closely going into next week.